Hi everyone, I'm Martin and welcome to another great edition of Astronomy for Beginners. And today I'm going to do a product review on the latest gadget I've got here is the Alta Astro Solar Finder. Now, as I mentioned before on my last video guides on doing safe observation or photography of the sun all right, using your telescope, right, as I described before, you could use Finder which has a, a solar filter cover from it or you can just generally uh, use the, uh, the shadow on the floor and move the telescope so that you can get it in line and, and get it that way however this can be quite difficult and what the solar finder will do is to help you locate the sun really quickly really effectively and also very safe as well now the product costs around about £39.99 which sounds a little bit pricey for most people but believe me this little simple device here will cut half the time necessary to try and find the sun but the sun you wouldn't think would be a hard target to locate because of its size because it's so bright you're trying to move the telescope back and forth and you need to prevent yourself from trying to look at the sun because if you start looking at the sun through any viewfinders you're going to start damaging your eyes so this device will help you locate the sun very effectively now as you can see before you carry out or before you take any pictures of the sun or, or to observe using the telescope is make sure that your telescope is protected by a solar filter okay it's very crucial that you get that filter installed right always check the filter before use to so see, see if there's no cracks or damage onto the filter film all right so make sure you check that before you start using your your telescope or your camera or observation if that filter is damaged you end up damaging your camera sensor or damaging your eyes okay so always when you're using the telescope to image the sun or visual stuff use a solar filter okay and again i described that on the last video guide on safe solar viewing so what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look on this product and i'm going to show you how easy it is to align that sun okay and uh believe me once you've seen it you would like to buy one of these products these are absolutely awesome and it's probably the best one of the best buys ever thanks to my wife she bought me this fantastic product for uh, for my birthday and it's it's probably one of the be better presents she's ever bought for me we'll take a closer look at the product and see what you think so here's the soul finder as, as you can see it's made out of aluminium machined okay and you can see it's and as you can see it's extremely good quality aluminium and it's machined CNC machined now as you can see it just clips onto a dovetail bracket and it's just got a metric six uh, allen bolts as you can see at the back there is like a uh, projection screen and there's like a pinhole it's really simple I know that £39 seems a lot of money it is a bit pricey but don't forget this is a high quality product and what you pay is what you get but the good thing about this uh, little accessory is it can be used for any telescope no matter what you own a Maxitov, a refractor, a reflector any telescope so right so it can be used for any applications and it's it's quite accurate as well Alright, and there's no alignment, alright, there's nothing you can adjust, okay, there's there's no nothing, no adjustments necessary, you just basically plug it onto the telescope and off you go. Again, it comes with its own bracket with screws as well, okay, that's the actual bracket itself, but I don't really need to because this telescope on the uh, 102 has already got a dovetail bracket, so I don't need to fit that. But it is, it is very nice of Alto Astro to actually uh, come with the bracket as well. All right, but again, you pay for high quality products, you know. And I must can't stress this enough: good quality products will serve you a long time. Okay, 
and who will last a long time. So that's all it is. It's really simple. So I'm going to demonstrate to you guys and girls how easy this is. Now what you see is you see the pinhole here and then you've got a projection screen like a like a like a reddish pinkish filter. Now what the whole idea is is you've got to line the sun and basically you'll start to see the sun's disc projecting onto that screen and as you move the telescope you need to get that sun in the position and this is how easy it is now the camera's already set at a certain exposure ISO 100 thousands of a second okay so I'm going to take still shots you can take uh, movie shots but I'm not going to okay so it's already set and it's already focused okay so I don't need to mess about with that but uh, don't worry about that uh, about that for the moment so what we do is as you can see here we're going to move the telescope get in the handset right we're not going to do any setups okay we're just going to basically move the telescope across right so now we're going to simply just move the telescope right and I'm not looking at the Sun all right I'm not using whatsoever I'm just using the hand control buttons and just move the telescope accordingly to a rough estimate okay the Sun's pretty low in the sky all right so there's no need to uh, mess about with anything else so I generally just think okay that's sort of in line I'm not looking at the Sun at all so we come round and we're going to look at the actual position here now as you can see at that bottom corner there you can just see the disc okay that's where the, the pin hole is so basically we're just going to move the telescope up as you can see now you can see that disc and then uh, I'm moving it that disc now if you go back and forth you can see there that's where the Sun is it's exactly where the Sun is and basically I need to line that Sun in the middle back and forth right and as you can see now I'm lined up and now just to prove to you how accurate that is and look at that look at that I'm dead center already as you can see there we just up as you can see there now I am dead center almost dead center so that's now I can just take the shot now of the, the Sun okay using still shots or you can take an AVR file and again I'm well focused okay all right and you see it's ultra sharp and all that so again that's how good that product is and also the good thing about this product is you can see from this side uh, you can see where the Sun is as well so you can actually view it from this side also you don't look directly through it with your eye but you can just see that I'm on there as well and then you can just angle it move it about okay okay it's slightly out because um, the dovetail here is not that great all right the dovetail on this telescope but that's how why you should use the Alto Astro uh, dovetail because it's it's machined to that uh, bracket okay and it, it will be uh, a, a better fixture it's uh, as this product proves to you that it's very effective all right and you can safely move the telescope without even bothering about looking through the telescope all right and struggling because don't forget you will probably save a lot of time enough time that much that you'll probably be spending like 10 maybe 20 maybe even an hour trying to find uh, the Sun so this shows you how much time is saved all right and particularly in these sort of months in the winter where the sun is very low and you want to capture the sun as quickly as possible so that includes my product review on this video guide uh, the only drama I do have with this product is I think it's a bit pricey I think £39.99 is a bit too pricey 
but overall you all pay for quality so that's only bugbear but apart from that it's a great product and again see what you reckon again please comment on the video see what you think and again we're also available on the Facebook group okay and you catch us there please join that group and also please subscribe to, onto my channel again there's loads more videos I like to show you All right and uh, again look forward for some brand new video guys coming this new year and uh, thanks again thanks for watching and clear skies to you all